the flooded district is where they gather plague victims for quote unquote treatment. Right. Which means that's just where they take them to die. Oh, head came right off. Nice. What the hell? How freaking powerful is this crossbow? I don't know. Um, I seem to recall some reading something. There's a specific uh, amount of force that it takes to actually decapitate. Right. Yeah, that's nice. I'm trying to. Recall. But it's like the projectiles aren't wide enough. Hmm. Unless unless they're going through with such tremendous force that just the hydraulic shark. The hydraulic hydraulic shark. It's such force <laughs> that the hydraulic shock just tears your entire neck apart. Now I want a game where, where that actually does have a weapon that does that. So it needs to get on that. A game with hydraulic sharks. A game of hydraulic sharks. The new series on HBO. A, a game of hydraulic sharks. I would watch the <laughs> shit out of that. <laughs> Who wouldn't? I got my crossbow bolt back. Nice. There's the, uh, the rail station. That tree is evil looking. Oh, it's just bent. I, 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 well, to be fair, I pretty much everything in this in this environment is evil looking. Yeah. It's you know, location, location, location. Central Rud Rudshore Rail Line Station. Probably worried about there being weepers or something. Don't know why I didn't just use my dark vision. Mm. You realize now this episode is going to have to be called a game of hydraulic sharks. Yes, I'm perfectly fine with that. That goes. I mean, that kind of goes without saying. Shows here. Onward to Dowd's base. Use the rail station office key. Excellent. They look like Jawas, kind of. But without the robes. Yeah. So, not like Jawas at all, now that I think about it. This but blank. Even the terrible floods were not enough to wash away the size of them. Can you hear them too? Crying out in the dark. I'm not far now. Someone else saw the body. Here he comes. Ah, there he is. Oof. Teleports into the bullet. <laughs> Look at his. Uh, oh, I think that's a tethering. You know, the thing that like holds you. But, but didn't do him any good. Oh! 
You guys have a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure that wasn't intentional. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did that on purpose. Just got out of line of sight. Alrighty. Now, we're going to find that safe. You know, stairs by the courtyard. Which is entirely underwater, so it's easy to miss. Right. Yeah, I, just, I decided to get a decided to get a fresh breath of air after that much blundering around. <laughs> I, I had a fr growing up. I had a friend whose little brother was like terrified of the running out of air music from the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Uh, okay. Da, 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 you know that he was just yeah. Like it wasn't like like even if he wasn't playing, he was just traumatized by it. Well, drowning is pretty scary. Nice. And having a musical cue associated with drowning is... Safe. Alright, let's... Let's crack this sucker open. Find the right end of it. Oh, there's something else. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain, because you gotta, you know... It's not the easiest thing in the world to actually see the, uh... See the dials. And let's just check that number again. There we go. Hmm. Oh. There we are. Imperial Whale so Statuette, 150. Nice. What are you going to say? How do you find it controlling underwater? Oh, I have no complaints. I mean, you control smoothly enough, and you don't spend enough time underwater that you need a whole lot of, like, you know, elaborate mechanics or anything. Hmm. For, for, what you need, for what you need to do, I found the swimming control's fine. And you have enough air that, like, it's... I mean, you gotta be careful with your air, but it's not like you're constantly on the brink of running out if you screw up. Martha's Journal. The whalers come in greater number came in greater numbers last night. We ran as fast as we could hear as we ran as soon as we heard the odd sounds they make, but half of our men fell before we could scatter. Lorian says they aren't whalers at all, but cultists hiding their faces behind masks from the old oil processing factories. We should have moved out when they first started skulking around. They're after the old Chamber of Commerce building for the same reasons we settled here. It's secure, fairly dry, and there's a tunnel underneath leading straight to Rudshore Gate. Hmm. Okay. So I guess the former occupants of this neighborhood. Right. Dowd's headquarters is that big building up ahead. I believe that's a statue of the Empress. Make sure the bad guys alive up here. Now. Yes, there is. Hmm. There. 
and it's empty. <laughs> nice. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant planning on my part. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go go a bit go the loud route, perhaps. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Loud route's the best. I wonder if that took multiple shots. I just remember he Dowd mentioned something about you you inherit my resistance to some toxins. I wonder if that's why that took multiple hits. With the sleeping dart. Ah, oh, oh, now I got some crossbow bolts. Just yank them out of the corpses. That that, that is an undignified position to die in. Also, the rag. <laughs> I noticed the rag doll is still heavy. The rag dolls in this game are are a bit behave a bit eccentrically at times. They're a little livelier than dead bodies ought to be, occasionally. Yeah, there's quite a bit to explore here. Oh, ah. And again, see, that guy is actually inside that building, but I get jumpy because I can see his outline. <laughs> or, or, or is he? Wait, no, I'm an idiot. No, yeah, he is actually there. Luckily, I have crossbow bolts now. Oh, and another head comes off. Oh, did you see his body plummet over there? Nice. Okay. All right. Not too much else of interest. Here. F filled up on elixirs, on health elixirs. The health elixir or the mana one? The health. Okay. Yeah, even on even on playing on hard difficulty and not buying, not spending money to buy elixirs, I I, I very seldom found myself lacking. They only really provide you with a, a lot of opportunities. Yeah, there's there's quite a few to find. Lovely place. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Great schools in the area, too. If you're raising a family. Yeah, when they're not underwater. Well, the kids can learn to swim, too. Did you learn to swim? Not really. I, I can just, I can dog paddle, and that's it. Hmm. I have this really intense terror of, like, submerging my head. Like, when I was a child, like, it was, like, like, I could barely stand, like, like putting my head under the shower to wash my hair. It was that, it was so bad. <laughs> no, seriously. All right, here we are. 